the following messages transmitted at the request of the Paulding County Sheriff's Office. An unknown creature was roaming around the Paulding area, and is attacking anyone that they see. This creature is believed to be from an unknown demonic origin. The description of the creature goes as follows. No hair, glowing yellow eyes, two large claws on each arms, has a head of an infant, a lower half of an insect with no legs, and repeats the word mama. If you see this creature, call 911. Do not attempt to confront this creature, as you could be killed. Stay tuned for further information regarding this situation. The following messages transmitted at the request of the Paulding County Sheriff's Office. The situation with the unknown demonic creature has worsened dramatically. This creature has multiplied itself by possessing or killing infant babies between ages 6 to 18 months. Police are also having trouble trying to capture and kill these creatures. Police have also stated that these creatures have the following abilities, leaping at its targets, scratching and biting, and possessing infant children. Sources are believed that the reason infants are being possessed is due to the fact that they have not been baptized. If your infant child has not been baptized, law enforcement or your local priest will lead you to the closest church that's not affiliated with these creatures to get baptized. If you see these creatures, call 911. Stay tuned to radio or television outlets or internet sources for the latest information. At the request of the Ohio State Police, the Ohio Emergency Alert System is activated to assist a broadcast of an Amber Alert. An Amber Alert has been declared. Repeating. An Amber Alert has been declared. The Putnam County Sheriff's Office is investigating the abduction of over 15 children. From the town of Continental, they were last seen near the Dollar General on South Main Street between Maple and Benton. There were two suspects who were involved with this abduction, but police have stated that they were not of a human species. The two suspects took a handful of the children and ran northbound on Main Street to County Road 21 and is believed to be heading towards the Henry County line or Napoleon, Ohio. The suspects were both over 8 to 9 feet tall, with black skin, saliva falling from their mouths, and a hostile aggression. All of the children are believed to be in extreme danger. You can find their identity and descriptions on the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children website. If you have any additional information on the whereabouts of the children or the suspects, please call the Putnam County Sheriff's Office at 419-523-3208. Again, that number is 419-523-3208. Stay tuned to radio or television outlets or internet sources for the latest information. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Ohio State Emergency Management. The situation in Paulding County has escalated further to the point where several sightings of these creatures were reported in the following counties, in Indiana, Adams, Allen and DeKalb, and in Ohio, Defiance, Henry, Putnam and Van Wert. 
This includes the following areas, Napoleon, Ottawa, Monroeville, Hicksville, Cecil, Antwerp, Arthur, Hamler, Defiance, Paulding, Townley, Convoy, Vemwert, Gerald, Payne, Georgetown and Maples. If you live in any of these counties, it is urgent that you remain in your homes until further notice. In addition, the creatures has now been identified as the infamous cherubs from the video game Doom 3. Anyone who owns the game itself must delete, uninstall, remove disc or dispose of the game entirely. Refusal to do so might put you in danger and spawn more of these creatures, or any other demonic sources from the game itself. If you see any sightings of these cherubs, call 911. If you see any other sightings of demonic entities, you are urged to report it to your police department immediately. Stay tuned to your radio or television outlets, or internet sources for the latest information. The civil authorities have issued a civil danger warning for Atoms I.N., Allen I.N., DeKalb I.N., Defiance O.H., Henry O.H., Paulding O.H., Putnam O.H., and Vanguard O.H. Beginning at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time and ending at 1 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Emergency Management Agency. The attacks from demonic infants, known as cherubs, are getting out of control. Several attacks have been reported all across the mentioned counties, and are believed to continue to spread into surrounding locations. There was also a confirmed child abduction that took place in Putnam County, near the small town of Continental. The suspects were last seen heading north on Main Street towards Henry County. The suspects are also now have a new description. They are over 8 to 9 feet tall, with black skin, saliva falling from their mouths, a hostile aggression and hunger towards humans, and has the ability to throw green plasma fireballs. It has been confirmed that these suspects are not human, and it will attack anyone that provokes them. Do not attempt to confront these creatures, as you could be killed. Continue to follow local media outlets for more updates on this dangerous situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Emergency Management Agency and the Henry County Sheriff's Office. The two creatures responsible for abducting 15 children and triggering an Amber Alert in Putnam County have been identified. They are in fact Hell Knights. These creatures are known for throwing green plasma-type fireballs at anyone that tries to confront them. The Hell Knights are confirmed to be from the Doom 3 franchise and are in relation to the cherubs originating from Paulding County, Ohio. These creatures are considered extremely dangerous, and people should not interact with them. These creatures have made their way to Henry County and still have all 15 of the children. All residents within the Henry County area are advised to shelter in place at this time. Lock all windows and doors, seal door and window cracks, turn off all air conditioning and cooling systems, and have food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a first aid kit, and a battery-powered or hand-cranked radio to last you for your stay in your shelter. Be sure to also keep a weapon with you as well, such as a melee weapon or a firearm of any kind. The intentions of the Hell Knights still remain unknown at this time. Stay tuned to local media outlets or internet sources for more information as it becomes available.
The following message is transmitted at the request of the Wyandotte County Sheriff's Office. An unknown individual was seen roaming around the county and was spotted breaking in two businesses and stores in the area. All residents in Wyandotte County are advised to remain in your homes until further notice. Be sure to lock all doors and windows and to seal all cracks. If you see this individual, call 911 immediately. Stay tuned to local media outlets for more updates on this dangerous situation. Good evening, and welcome to WTOL 11 News serving the Toledo area. My name is Zoe, and we got some breaking news from our southern and western parts of our viewing area. Several demonic creatures were reported in Paulding, Putnam, Van Wert, Henry and Defiance counties, causing chaos and creating havoc in those areas. And if you think that's bad, a statewide Amber Alert was issued for 15 children, yes, 15 children that were abducted in the small town of Continental. The suspects are also demonic creatures, and have made their way into Henry County. WTOL's Ellie is in Napoleon right now. Ellie, what is going on down there? Well Zoe, this is a very terrifying situation. These creatures, now known as Hell Knights, have made their way into Henry County and are approaching this area. This place is deserted right now because of the civil danger warning that was issued in this area. This area is also very windy on an unrelated note. I can barely stand up in these high winds, but anyways, the 15 children that were abducted by these Hell Knights are believed to be in grave or immediate danger, and reports that some of these cherubs are approaching the area as well, and they have destroyed the southern part of Henry County. Really? Can you tell if there are any injuries or fatalities in any of the counties that the civil danger warning was issued for? So far, there are 400 deaths, and there are at least 700 reported injuries and possessions. This looks like the awakening of Lucifer down here Zoe. This is not a safe place to be. Everyone should stay in their homes and do not go outside for the rest of the day. Oh crap, it looks like the Hell Knights are arriving right now. I'm getting out of here Zoe. Thank you Ellie. Stay safe. In other news, Civil authorities in Wyandotte County are searching for a man who has been seen breaking into stores across the area. Most of the stuff he has stolen appear to be electronic devices and dangerous materials. If you see this man, it is urgent that you call the Wyandotte County Sheriff's Office. Oh, I'm getting word that we have an important announcement from the emergency alert system. Stand by for an important message. The civil authorities have issued a civil danger warning for Blackford I.N., Huntington I.N., J.I.N., Lagrange I.N., Noble I.N., Steuben I.N., Wells I.N., Whitley I.N., Allen O.H., Fulton O.H., Hancock O.H., Harden O.H., Lucas O.H., Williams O.H., and Wood O.H. Beginning at 6.03 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time and ending at 9 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Emergency Management Agency. The civil danger warning that was issued earlier has extended into surrounding counties. And now, reports are coming in that a portal has opened up in Paulding County. The Paulding County Sheriff has ordered residents to stay in their homes at this time. Do not go near the portal, as you could be sucked in, or something will come out of it. Residents living in the counties that the warning was just issued for, you are urged to remain in your homes as well. If you see any demonic entities in your area, such as a cherub or a hell knight, you are urged to dial 911. Law enforcement is continuing to try to take down these demons, but so far there is little success. Continue to monitor local media outlets for more updates on this dangerous situation. Oh my goodness! The civil danger warning has been extended to the Toledo area? That is not good at all. Uh-oh! 
I just got word that the EAS has another message. Stand by for another important message. The civil authorities have issued an evacuation watch for Adams I.N., Allen I.N., DeKalb I.N., Defiance O.H., Henry O.H., Paulding O.H., Putnam O.H., and Vanward O.H. Beginning at 6.05 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time and ending at 6 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Emergency Management Agency. An evacuation watch has been issued for the mentioned areas due to the growing danger of demons roaming around and attacking civilians. It is not mandatory to evacuate, but if you wish to, be sure to bring on perishable food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a first aid kit, toiletries, and a battery-powered radio for your evacuation route. Everyone who lives north, evacuate north to Michigan. Residents in the south, evacuate south to the state of Kentucky. If you spot any of the demons in your way, run them over with your vehicle if you must. For those who choose to stay in your homes, remain calm and quiet. Continue to monitor local media outlets for more updates on this dangerous situation. Oh my, an evacuation watch had been issued for the western part of our viewing area. Well, if you do wish to evacuate, feel free to do so. And do the following instructions that was told in the alert. Remember viewers, stay safe out there. Now, let's check the weather. Demon-like creatures, and lost souls in Paulding County, Ohio. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Emergency Management Agency. The portal that was spotted in the area, has released demon entities, and they are attacking anyone that they see. These creatures are from an unknown demonic origin, and are hostile towards civilians. In addition, flaming skulls, now known as lost souls, have been spotted possessing the living, and turning them into demonic life forms. The demonic entities were reported to be destroying homes and businesses across the county. All residents in Paulding County are urged to evacuate immediately. Take food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a first aid kit, toiletries, and a battery-powered or hand-cranked radio with extra batteries for your evacuation route. Do not return home unless given permission by the proper authorities. Stay tuned to local media outlets for updates on this dangerous situation. Did you guys hear about the civil danger warning that was issued? Yes I did, but what are these demons that they are talking about? I'll be damned if I know. Guys. Guys. You better run right now. The demons are coming to the city and are going to kill us all. Where are they coming from? What the fuck was that? This is insane. I'm gonna call the police and get this shit to stop. Shelter in place warning for Lucas and Ottawa counties. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Toledo Police Department and the Ottawa County Sheriff's Office. The demons from the portal originating from Paulding County have teleported in the city of Toledo and surrounding areas and are attacking whoever they see. Random fire attacks, homing missile launches, as well as human corpses being dismembered, eaten, and containing trace samples of a demonic substance have also been reported as well. The demons responsible for this invasion have killed over 400 people, including Mayor Wade Kapsukiewicz. The demons using their fire attacks has been identified as the infamous Arshvile from the Doom franchise. 
The Archviles have the ability to start fires, revive the undead, and teleport to wherever they want. The demons that are launching missiles are Revenants. Revenants can launch homing missiles, which can cause catastrophic destruction to life and property. These creatures are in relation to the Cherubs and the Hell Knights causing chaos in Henry, Paulding and Putnam counties. All residents in Lucas and Ottawa counties are urged to shelter in place immediately. Lock all windows and doors, seal all window and door cracks, turn off ventilation systems, and have the necessary supplies for your stay in your shelter, such as food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a first aid kit, and a battery-powered radio with extra batteries. Do not approach these creatures, as you could be leading yourself into danger. Continue to follow local media outlets for more updates on this dangerous situation. Nuclear power plant warning. Nuclear power plant warning. This is not a drill. The following message is transmitted at the request of the emergency management agency. One of the demons have teleported to Oak Harbor and has used fire and homing missile attacks on the Davis Bessie nuclear power plant, causing the reactor to have an immediate total meltdown. Radioactive materials have been confirmed to be released into the air and a fire has been reported. The demons then teleported away to an unknown location, and it is very likely that they will cause more chaos across Ottawa County. All residents near the Davis Bessie power plant are urged to evacuate immediately. Take food and water for 14 days, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a first aid kit, toiletries, and a battery-powered radio for your evacuation route. Do not attempt to pick up relatives from schools, hospitals, or nursing homes. These areas have their own evacuation procedures. If you hear sirens in your area, that means you are in the evacuation zone. Continue to follow local media outlets for more updates on this dangerous situation. Event type is nuclear plant. Civil authorities have reported that the Davis Bessie nuclear powered plant in Oak Harbor, Ohio, United States has suffered a total meltdown from its reactor. It is urgent that all residents just remain indoors, as a threat for radioactive materials to reach the city of Windsor is possible. Close all doors, windows, fireplace dampers ventilation systems and seal all cracks. There is also an enhanced risk for a possible evacuation order that could extend beyond 10 miles. If this occurs, follow statements given by civil authorities and emergency management, as they will lead you to a safer location. Officials from both the United States and the Canadian Territory of Ontario will give another statement regarding the nuclear plant within the next hour. Stay tuned for further information on your radio or television outlets. More updates will soon be available. We're in the city of Deucerus. Permission to open fire, sir? Only fire in my command. Affirmative. Open fire now.
The following message is transmitted at the request of the Crawford County Sheriff's Office. An unknown group of men have started attacking civilians with illegal firearms. They have also been reported to be breaking into people's homes and killing anyone inside. As a precaution, all residents in Crawford County are advised to remain in their homes for the rest of the day. If you see these men, do not approach them, as they are considered armed and extremely dangerous. Law enforcement have been dispatched to handle the situation. If you hear gunshots in your area, call 911 immediately. Stay tuned to local media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. Contagious disease found in White Under County. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Centers for Disease Control. The unknown individual who was seen breaking into stores earlier has stolen a bunch of items throughout the area. As he was desperately trying to evade law enforcement, he dropped a chemical that contained a contagious substance or a virus that has become airborne in White Under County. And now, residents have been reported with the following symptoms, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, headaches, fear of water and light, stomach cramps, and most certainly, death. All residents in White Under County are to remain in their homes with their windows and doors locked. Be sure to turn off all ventilation systems as well as sealing all cracks with tape or damp towels to prevent the spread of the virus. Continue to follow local media outlets for more updates on this situation. Contagious disease found in Crawford County. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Centers for Disease Control. The group of men who was seen killing people in Crawford County has released an airborne substance or virus into the air. The symptoms of this virus are nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, headaches, coughing, sudden comas, bleeding through the eyes and or mouth, and most certainly, death. This virus, as well as the attacks, may be related to the airborne disease in White Under County. All residents in Crawford County are advised to remain in their homes at this time. Be sure to seal all door and window cracks with tape or damp towels and to turn off all ventilation systems. If you believe you are infected by this disease, you are urged to dial 911. Continue to follow local media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Fulton County Sheriff's Office and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. This is an update on the statewide Amber Alert for the state of Ohio. Seven of the children that were abducted by the Hell Knights in Putnam County were found dead five miles south of the town of Lyons, with their bodies cut open and their organs removed. The other eight children are still confirmed to be missing, but it is believed that the Hell Knights may have eaten or feasted on them. Law enforcement is continuing the search for the two Hell Knights and the remaining children. If you see them, you are urged to call 911. Stay tuned to local media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation.
The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. A radiological hazard warning is in effect for all of Lucas County until further notice due to radioactive materials released from the davis Bessey nuclear power plant. Reports are also speculating that the demons that are attacking the city of Toledo are immune to the radioactive materials. Anyone living in the city of Toledo and surrounding areas are asked to evacuate immediately. Take food, water, medical supplies, clothing, a flashlight, a first aid kit, and a radio powered by batteries. If you have inhaled the radioactive materials, you will face a certain radioactive illness or death. Do not pick up relatives from schools, hospitals, or nursing homes. These areas have their own evacuation procedures. If you see any of the demons in your area, do not interact with them. They will attack and kill anyone on site. If you are evacuating and you encounter one of these demons, do not pull over your vehicle at any time. Run over any demonic entity with your vehicle if you encounter them. Continue to follow local media outlets for more information as this situation develops. The civil authorities have issued a civil emergency message for Crawford OH and Y and OH beginning at 10.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time and ending at 11.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Centers from Disease Control and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. The diseases in Crawford and Y and counties have developed new symptoms. The Y and County virus symptoms include vomiting blood, insomnia, dehydration, loss of communication, increased speed and aggression, and homicidal actions. The Crawford County virus includes insomnia, paranoia, vomiting blood, internal bleeding from the eyes and mouth, growth of horns on the head, deepening of the voice, darkening of the skin, growth of black limbs, homicidal aggression, and suicidal tendencies. All residents that are feeling ill to any of the two viruses, report yourself to a hospital or a doctor's office immediately. Do not call 911 as the lines are overloading from illness cases. In addition, it is believed that the group attacking people in Crawford County are connected to the man committing the break-ins in Wyandotte County. The whereabouts of these men are currently unknown. If you see any of the men, do not approach them by any means as they are armed and extremely dangerous. All residents are to remain in their homes at this time. Continue to follow local media outlets on this dangerous situation. Shelter-in-place warning for the city of Fort Wayne and surrounding areas. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Fort Wayne Police Department. The demons from the video game Doom 3 originating from Ohio has made their way to the state of Indiana, and are on their way to the city of Fort Wayne. These demonic creatures have a history of possessing, murdering, devouring, and infecting civilians. All residents in the Fort Wayne area are urged to shelter in place at this time. Lock all windows and doors, seal all cracks, turn off all lights, and turn off all ventilation systems. Law enforcement is dispatched to handle the situation. If you see these creatures, do not go near them. They will attack, and kill anyone on sight. If one of these creatures enters your home, use armed protection by all means, this includes lethal force. Continue to monitor local media outlets for more updates as the situation develops.
zombies and demons sighted in the viewing area. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Emergency Management Agency. Several reports of zombie and demon-like creatures are coming out of Crawford and Wyandotte counties. The zombies have the following characteristics, yellow glowing eyes, open cuts on their body, loss of communication, increased hunger, speed, agility, and aggression, as well as immunity to firearms and electricity. The demon's characteristics include, standing between 8 to 19 feet tall, red, black, or yellow eyes, cuts through their arms, horns on their head, scarlet, crimson, or black skin, large demonic wings on their back, deepened voices, increased speed and aggression and abilities to start fires. It has been confirmed that this was caused by the two airborne viruses originating from both counties. The zombie virus from Wyandotte County, now named Undead Virus X, and the demon virus from Crawford County, now named Hellspawn 666, has spread across the state of Ohio, and civilians across the area are expected to turn into zombies or demons within the next few hours. All residents in the state of Ohio are urged to either shelter in place or evacuate out of the state. Do not interact with these creatures, as you could be leading yourself into danger. They will attack and kill anyone on sight. If you spot these creatures, call 911. If these creatures manage to enter your home, use armed protection by all means. This includes lethal force. In addition, the man responsible for committing armed robberies in Wyandotte County and the group attacking civilians in Crawford County are in fact connected, and law enforcement are searching all of them. The Federal Bureau of Investigation has also joined the search, and have stated that they will do anything they can to find those responsible. Stay tuned for further information on this dangerous situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Indiana State Police and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. The Doom 3 demons originating from a portal in Ohio have made their way into the state of Indiana. Several injuries and fatalities have been reported within the past hour, with bodies being dismembered and eaten, and afterwards, they have reawoken and turned into demons themselves. All of the demonic entities and specimen have now been fully identified. The attacks are ranging from imps, pinky demons, maggots, vulgars, cherubs, lost souls, forgotten ones, caco demons, wraiths, revenants, archviles, mancubi, hell knights, bruisers, barons of hell, ticks, trites, vagaries, and summoners. All of these creatures are considered extremely dangerous and should be avoided. In addition, the two Hell Knights responsible for an Amber Alert in Ohio were spotted in the state as well. The bodies of the remaining children were found in Wall Lake in Steuben and Lagrange counties. Law enforcement has also been reported to be struggling trying to eliminate these creatures. The governor of Indiana has requested that the United States military should be dispatched to northeastern Indiana to help dissolve this situation. All residents are to shelter in place or evacuate the affected areas. If you see these creatures, do not interact with them. They will attack and kill anyone on site. Continue to follow local media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Emergency Management Agency, 
the Davis Bessie nuclear power plant in Oak Harbor, Ohio has, in fact, exploded. Two mushroom clouds were seen as far north as Grand Rapids, Michigan, and as far south as Cincinnati, Ohio. All residents within a 500-mile radius of the Davis Bessie nuclear power plant should seek a fallout shelter immediately. Fallout is a byproduct of nuclear explosions, attacks, or accidents. Prolonged exposure can cause sickness or even death. Be sure to take food and water for 14 days. Clothing medical supplies, a flashlight, and a battery-powered radio for your stay in the shelter. In addition, the Federal Emergency Management Agency has reported that the zombies and the demons have spread to larger cities in Ohio. The following cities include Toledo, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Akron, Dayton, Defiance, Canton, Youngstown, Columbus, Lima, Hamilton, Wilmington, and Zanesville. All residents in the state of Ohio are to not interact with these creatures, as you can be putting your life at risk doing so. Continue to follow local media outlets on more information as this situation develops. Event type is nuclear plant. All residents near the city of Windsor seek a fallout shelter now. The Davis Bessie nuclear powered plant in Oak Harbor, Ohio, United States has exploded. Two mushroom clouds were sighted confirming the explosion. All residents in Windsor are urged to seek a fallout shelter now. Make sure to approach the fallout shelter in a calm manner and do not panic. Do not trample over other people as this can result in injuries. Civil authorities may change the shelter order to an evacuation order. If this occurs, follow statements and instructions given by civil authorities, as they will escort you out of the area. Additional information is expected, and there will be updates regarding the nuclear plant within the next hour. Stay tuned to radio and television outlets for the latest information on this dangerous situation. The following messages transmitted at the request of the Emergency Management Agency and the Federal Bureau of Investigation. The FBI have been able to identify the individuals responsible for the attacks and robberies in Ohio. The first suspect is Dr. Malcolm Betruger, white male, 50 years of age, 6 feet tall, unknown eye color, and no hair, unknown weight, and was last seen wearing a blue lab coat, cocky pants, and brown shoes. The second suspect has an unknown birth name, but is nicknamed Voltaire, unknown age, but estimated to be 21 years old, unknown eye color, height, and weight, has crimson red hair, and was last seen wearing a black jacket with no shirt underneath, black jeans, black and red sneakers, and red shaded glasses. The third suspect is Harrison Eckes, light-skinned male, 22 years old, 6 feet 2 inches tall, has black hair, and blue eyes, has a black beard and mustache weighing 200 pounds, and was last seen wearing a red shirt, purple shorts, and black shoes. The fourth suspect is Christian Davison, a white male, 21 years old, 6 feet tall, has black hair, and blue eyes, weighing 190 pounds. He was last seen wearing a black jacket, crimson shirt, black pants, and purple shoes. The fifth suspect is Damien Rhodes, white male, 19 years old, 5 feet 9 inches tall, has black hair and green eyes, weighing 180 pounds. He was last seen wearing a red jacket, black shirt, blue shorts, and white shoes. The final suspect is Ricky Mahoning, white male, 20 years old, 5 feet 7 inches tall, has brown hair and brown eyes, weighing 200 pounds. He was last seen wearing all black clothing and a Pittsburgh Steelers winter hat. All of them have committed crimes in Crawford and Wyandotte counties in Ohio and are responsible for killing people robbing businesses, releasing to airborne viruses, and may have a connection to the demon invasion originating from Paulding County, Ohio. 
These men are also involved with the company known as the Union Aerospace Corporation, otherwise known as the UAC, which is a rival company to NASA. All six men were last seen driving a stolen GMC Hummer with Utah license plate KVY 6924. They were traveling to the Kentucky Indiana state border, and law enforcement is currently in a pursuit with them. Gunfire has been reported as well during the pursuit. If you have any additional information on the suspects, call your local law enforcement, who will notify the FBI. Continue to follow local media outlets for more updates on this situation. The civil authority has issued a civil emergency message for the following counties slash areas, Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, at 1.30 p.m. until 2.30 p.m. Message from FEMA, law enforcement and the United States military are still in pursuit of Malcolm Bittruger and his accomplices, but are struggling heavily. The suspects are armed with illegal weaponry including an M16 assault rifle, Molotov cocktails and smoke grenades. One civilian has been reported to be injured from a traffic accident that was caused by reduced visibility in the hands of the six men. All residents are to stay away from the pursuit to avoid any danger threat. The suspects have also stated that they are in fact targeting the United States and are possibly planning to head to the White House to assassinate the president or hijack a government-owned building, but that cannot be confirmed at this time. All residents in the affected area are advised to stay away from the suspects as they are confirmed armed and extremely dangerous. It is also highly encouraged that all residents shelter in place at this time. If you see the suspects or have been injured while driving due to reduced visibility, call 911. Mr. Vice President, I need to speak to you. It's quite urgent. What is it, and make it quick. I'm in the middle of something. You know those terrorists who caused a demon invasion and a virus outbreak in Ohio? Yes, I do. What did they do this time? It appears that they have triggered a pursuit. They are currently in the state of Indiana, and are threatening to hijack the Pentagon. They have also threatened to assassinate the president. Is that so? Well, they're not gonna get away with it. Have the military and the bureau been informed? Yes, in fact, they are the ones pursuing them. Now who could be calling right now? Hello, representative of the president speaking. Who is this? What the hell? What is the issue? Who's on the phone? All I hear is some deep voice saying satanic chance. Give me the phone. Hello, who is this? What are your intentions? Is this supposed to be some sort of joke? I swear to God if I ever find you. I will make sure you get lethal injection. Do not call this number again. Matthew, keep me updated on the terrorists, and make sure the military and the bureau don't let them get away. Yes sir, will do. Mr. Vice President, the TV, radio and phone lines have been hacked. It seems the terrorists may be trying to disable them. Are you serious? Then we need to warn the public about this, send out a message this instant. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Law enforcement and the United States military has failed to take down Dr. Malcolm Betruger and his men, as they have managed to escape.
and now it has been confirmed that they have hacked into the Pentagon and are threatening to launch nuclear missiles to their selective locations if their demands are not met. All residents in surrounding areas are advised to stay in their homes for the rest of the day, and to stay away from the Pentagon at this time. SWAT teams have surrounded the building and are attempting to communicate with Dr. Betruger and his group. In addition, all television sources as well as radio frequencies have been hacked and or disturbed by an unknown source. These hackers are possibly working with Betruger, and are refusing to cease communications. It is possible, that these could be the demons trying to help Betruger with these hacks and hijackings as reports have also came in that television outlets have been heard making satanic noises as well as showing bloody pentagrams making people drop dead from seizures. All residents are advised to turn off television and radio transmitters as they are being interfered. If you need to keep update on this information, it is highly encouraged that you tune into internet outlets as they are the only sources that are not hijacked. Stay tuned for further information. This is an emergency action notification, requested by the White House. All EAS participants will follow activation procedures in the EAS operating handbook for a national level emergency. The President of the United States, or one of his representatives will shortly deliver a message over the emergency alert system. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. We interrupt our regular programming. This is a national emergency. Important instructions will follow. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations should remain on the air, providing news and information for your local area. You are listening to station WJLA serving the Washington, D.C. area. If you are not in this local area, tune now to stations providing news and information for your local area. Do not use your telephone. The telephone line should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. Dr. Betruger and his group have launched six intercontinental ballistic nuclear missiles from the Pentagon and are heading to their selective locations, which include the following, Indianapolis, Indiana, Fort Wayne, Indiana, Evansville, Indiana, Terre Haute, Indiana, Toronto, Canada, and Montreal, Canada. All residents within a 500-mile radius of these cities should seek a fallout shelter immediately. Fallout is a byproduct of nuclear materials. Prolong exposure can cause sickness or even death. Be sure to have non-perishable food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a first aid kit, and a battery-powered phone or laptop. Radios are still being hijacked by the demons originating from Ohio, and are disabling frequencies. In addition, the demons that attacked Ohio have spread into the state of Indiana, and have invaded all the cities mentioned as well. The President of the United States, or one of his representatives is expected to speak on all channels shortly. Stand by for this message.
event type is national alert. The following message is transmitted by the request of the Canadian government. This is an attack warning against Canada. This is an attack warning alert. Two nuclear ballistic missiles were launched from the Pentagon by hackers or hijackers, and are making their way to the cities of Toronto and Montreal. All residents within a 500-mile radius of these cities should seek a fallout shelter immediately. Fallout is a byproduct of nuclear attacks. Prolonged exposure can cause sickness or death. Be sure to take the proper supplies with you for 14 days, such as food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, and a radio powered by batteries. Do not, I repeat, do not trample others as you make your way to the fallout shelter. This will cause injuries in the process. Most importantly, remain calm. As mass panic will make the situation worse. More updates will soon be available. This is a National Information Center message, issued by the United States government. The six nuclear missiles have hit their designated areas, and fallout is spread in the following areas, in Canada, Toronto, and Montreal, and the following areas, in Indiana, Indianapolis, Fort Wayne, Evansville and Terre Haute. In addition, the zombies and demons in Indiana and Ohio have been confirmed to be immune to the nuclear fallout. The zombie virus, known as Undead Virus X, and the demon virus, known as Halspawn 666, has spread it across the United States, including Alaska and Hawaii. It is expected that residents across the country will turn into zombies and demons within the next few hours. Also, the Doom 3 entities, ranging from maintenance zombies, scientist zombies, commando zombies, zombie security, birdies, onies, morgues, imps, maggots, pinky demons, lost souls, forgotten ones, caco demons, wraiths, revenants, archviles, trites, ticks, cherubs, vulgars, bank you by, hell knights, bruisers, barons of hell, vagaries, and summoners have teleported to selective areas across the country. This includes the following areas, Oklahoma, Mississippi, Utah, Michigan, North Carolina, Illinois, Arizona, Louisiana, and Maryland. These creatures will attack and kill anyone on site. The president has successfully regained control of television and radio outlets and is expected to speak on all channels momentarily. Please stand by. Good evening, I am the President of the United States. My fellow Americans. This is a dark day for the United States. As you've heard, attacks from creatures known as zombies and demons have been occurring in Ohio, and spread into Indiana. And now, due to their teleportation powers, they have spread the attacks to other selective states. Which includes North Carolina, Michigan, Mississippi, Illinois, Maryland, Louisiana. Arizona, Oklahoma and Utah. There are two variants of these creatures. One is from the Doom 3 video game, which have made their way in through portals and game console spawns. The second is from two airborne viruses. One is a zombie virus, known as Undead Virus X. And the other is a demon virus, known as Hellspawn 666. These demons and zombies originating from the viruses are much more powerful than the ones from Doom 3. Their agility, speed, aggression and powers is a lot higher. The viruses have spread across the United States, and more civilians are expected to transform within the next few hours. These demons are also responsible for causing a nuclear power plant to explode in Ohio. They are also under the command of six men who are responsible for this crisis. The ones responsible are Malcolm B. Truger, Voltaire, Harrison Eckes, Christian Davison, Ricky Mahoning, and Damian Rhodes. They have been able to hack into the Pentagon to launch six nuclear missiles to Indianapolis, Fort Wayne, Evansville and Terre Haute. Along with Toronto and Montreal as well. We will find these six men and put them to justice. 
I will do everything in my power to search for these dangerous men. America will be stronger than ever, and will fall to no one. Not even to some zombified or demonic army. Nobody can stop us. Hell reaches out for what is ours. We have been unbound. They have arrived, my children. As I promise, rise up. Awaken. <laughs> wow. That was unexpected. It seems we were hijacked again for a moment. But anyways, as I was saying, we will find these men and put them behind bars for life. It will be up to the state of Ohio to decide their fate, since the crimes originated from there. They will be the ones to decide their sentence once they have finished rebuilding after this war is over. As of right now, I urge everyone in the United States to seek shelter, and do not come out at any time. May the Lord be with you, and God bless America. That was a message from the President of the United States. A war has been declared against all non-human life forms as well as the six terrorists responsible for this national crisis. All programs will be suspended until the Demon War concludes. We interrupt our regular programming. This is a national emergency. Important instructions will follow. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations shall remain on the air, providing news and information for your local and assigned areas. You are listening to station KOCO-TV serving the Oklahoma City area. Do not use your telephone. The telephone line is shall be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. At 3 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the Doom 3 demon activity originating from Paulding County, Ohio has spread across the globe dramatically. All 50 U.S. states are now under attack by demons and zombies, now including the following areas, Wyoming, Idaho, North Dakota, South Dakota, Kansas, Alabama, Florida, Texas, Wisconsin, New Jersey, California, Vermont, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Maine, Georgia, South Carolina, Hawaii, Alaska, Missouri, New York, Iowa, New Mexico, Colorado, Minnesota, Rhode Island, Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, Tennessee, Arkansas, Washington, Virginia, West Virginia, Oregon, Kentucky, Nebraska, Montana, Delaware, Nevada, and the District of Columbia. The following areas have declared a statewide shutdown order for business and government related events and surrendered to the demons. Ohio, Utah, Oklahoma, Arizona, Maryland, Mississippi, Illinois, Michigan, Louisiana, North Carolina, and Indiana. The White House has been reported burned down to the ground, and the Washington Monument is filled with demonic graffiti, which have satanic symbols referencing death and torture. 
demons and zombies have also been teleported across the globe, and have been reported in international countries in the world, which include the following, but are not limited to Canada, Mexico, Brazil, Colombia, Cuba, Ireland, Poland, Scotland, the United Kingdom, the Netherlands, Australia, Spain, France, Germany, Italy, Ukraine, Russia, Japan, China, Taiwan, North Korea, South Korea, Somalia, Niger, Nigeria, Austria, Hungary, Turkey, India, Indonesia, the Philippines, Malaysia, Vietnam, Syria, Iran, Iraq, Sudan, Jordan, Egypt, Chad, Yemen, Libya, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Costa Rica, Haiti, Venezuela, Chile, Argentina, the Virgin Islands, Finland, Sweden, Belgium, Iceland, Greenland, Denmark, Norway, Mongolia, Trinidad and Tobago, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Uganda, Kenya, Ethiopia, Madagascar, Zaire, and South Africa. Sightings of these zombies and demons have also been detected on radar in Antarctica. Hundred thousands of fatalities and over 10 million injuries have been reported from demonic attacks. These creatures, ranging from maintenance zombies, scientist zombies, zombie security, zombie commandos, hazmat zombies, burnies, onis, morgues, imps, pinky demons, maggots, cherubs, revenants, lost souls, forgotten ones, caco demons, wraiths, archviles, vulgars, trites, ticks, mancubi, hell knights, barons of hell, bruisers, vagaries, and summoners are attacking living life forms, including predatory animals. There have also been reports that all victims that are killed will turn into a demon as well and destroy cities. Many people who have been hearing demonic voices in their head will collapse to the ground and fall into a coma and after awakening, they will become a zombie or a demon and attack the first person it sees. There have also been reports that law enforcement agencies across the US have failed to shut down the portal that the demons are appearing from and that the portals are indestructible. It has been confirmed that Dr. Malcolm Betruger and his group are deemed responsible for this global crisis. In addition, Dr. Betruger has transformed into a demon himself, now known as the Maledict. The Maledict is a powerful life form that is capable of splitting the earth in half, making it explode, or set the entire planet in a hellfire. The Maledict is also armed with an object known as the Artifact, that can make him travel through light speed, slow time down, and make him irresistible to everything, including nuclear weapons and holy water, making him the most powerful being in the world. This is a mass casualty situation, and should be taken very seriously. The President of the United States, along with the Vice President, House Speaker and 25 of the 50 US Governors have been killed as a result of these attacks. All residents that are listening to this message must listen carefully to the following instructions. If you are Christian or Catholic, get your Bibles immediately, and prepare for the summoning of the Lord and Savior Himself. If you are not Christian or Catholic, you can either stay in your shelters and remain vigilant, or if you're brave enough, commit suicide immediately. This is a last resort, to save humanity and all human and animal life forms. The Pope is expected to speak on all channels with biblical instructions of the summoning. Stand by for this message. Good evening my children. This is a mandatory session of the awakening, requested by the US government for an ongoing crisis. I am going to read parts of my holy instructions for the summoning of our Lord and Savior. And for that, let's begin. Behold our Lord, save us from our eternal sins. Rescue us from our eternal doom. <laughs>
message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. The Pope has been shot, live on air by one of the doctor's accomplices, and more than 6 billion people have been turned into zombies or demons. It is estimated that the remainder of the globe will transform into a zombie or a demon within the next hour. All attempts to save humanity have failed, and governments are collapsing including the United States. It is highly recommended that you stop praying to your higher beings and repent, as this will not work. Gather with your family and friends for the final moments of your life, or commit suicide if you are brave enough. The national anthem will be played one last time on the air. This will conclude the final activation of the emergency alert system. This is the EAS guy, Tom, signing off for the final time. May God be with you all. This is an emergency action termination. All clear. I repeat, all clear. The zombies and demons have ceased to exist, and have disappeared. The two airborne viruses have also vanished, and the nuke cities along with the nuclear power plant have been rebuilt. Every human that has died from this massacre has been revived, including the president, vice president, and the pope. Sources believe that this was an act of the Lord, and he has saved us all, but there will never be a true answer to this strange phenomenon. In addition, the body of Dr. Malcolm Betruger was found, and is being taken in for an autopsy. The other five suspects were nowhere to be found, and have mysteriously vanished. Everyone can come out of their shelters now. This concludes all operations under the emergency alert system. All normal programming may now resume. Your government thanks you for your cooperation during this emergency. Event type is emergency termination. This is an all clear message for the cities of Montreal and Toronto. All residents can now leave their shelters, as the fallout has cleared out of the area. In addition, the nuclear radiation has also cleared out of the city of Windsor. All residents may resume everyday activities. Normal programming will now continue. Oh, don't you worry. I'll be back. And you'll... Ha ha ha!